Hello! In this video of the ADLM 2000 series, we'll show you what you need to do in order to use the module with Scopy on your computer running on Windows. The process consists of installing three separate components. The Windows driver, Libio, our library for interfacing Linux industrial input-output devices, and finally, Scopy. Let's get started and plug our device into the computer. Make sure you connect the cable to the connector in the middle, which has a USB symbol as a label. Open the MQK as an external mass storage device and click on the info.html file. Download the Windows device driver and proceed with the installation following the instructions in the installer. Then, download the Libio installer for Windows. Go to your Downloads folder and install the library as shown. To test your installation, open your favorite console and type in IIO underscore info minus A. Notice how our USB connected module is listed in the output of the command. Finally, we'll download and install Scopy. After the installation is complete, make sure you restart your computer. With the ADLM 2000 still plugged into your computer, open the application and the device will appear in the home screen. Select it by clicking it. Now, the home screen should contain information about your device, such as the serial number or the firmware version. Clicking the connect button will establish a connection between the ADLM 2000 and your computer. Notice how the text on the button changes to calibrating for a little while. We'll cover this calibration process of the M2K in the next video of this series. Congratulations! Your setup is now fully functional. Now, depending on the experiments you wish to conduct, make the correct connections between the ADLM 2000 pins and use the appropriate instrument. The following videos will handle each instrument separately. In addition, we'll provide information on more advanced settings for both Scopy and the ADLM 2000. For more resources and information on the ADLM 2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. Here you can find detailed guides on how to get started, hardware schematics, pinout diagrams, tutorials for each instrument, and lastly, practical activities and lab exercises to be done with the module. If you have questions that this video did not answer to, please feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the Virtual Classroom section. You'll find links to all kinds of helpful pages in the video description. Thank you for watching.